In this problem, we're told a horse canters away from its trainer in a straight line, moving 160 meters away in 14 seconds. It then turns abruptly and gallops halfway back in 4.8 seconds. Calculate A, its average speed, and B, its average velocity for the entire trip, using away from the trainer as a positive direction. So let's say this is going to be the trainer, and we know the horse is going to go in a straight line, moving 160 meters away in 14 seconds. So it's going to start here. And then it's going to go this way, 116 meters. And the amount of time this took was 14 seconds. So I'm just going to label 14 seconds like this. And then we know it turns abruptly. So I'm just going to make it do a turn like this. This is a negligible distance, so just pretend it's zero. And then it gallops halfway back in 4.8 seconds. So if we just estimate what half is like. Uh, this looks to be about half. We know it does this in 4.8 seconds. So what we want to do first is find this distance here. And so we know that it's half of this distance, right? It goes this way and then halfway back. So this distance right here is just going to be half of 116. So if you take 116 and divide it by 2, you're going to get that it equals 58. So this is going to be 58 meters. And so let's look what they're asking, uh, asking us. They want us to find average speed and average velocity. So let me explain to you the difference uh, between speed and velocity. So speed is distance over time. So distance over time. And velocity is going to be equal to change in position, which I'm going to represent as delta x. Uh, delta just means change, and then the change in x is basically just position over the change in time. So you could just write it as time, but I'm going to write uh, delta t. And so we're going to use these uh, formulas to solve. So let's start with speed. So speed is going to be the total distance divided, uh, divided by time, so the total time it took. So what is the total distance? So we know it travels 116 meters this way and then 58 meters this way. So all we got to do is add them up. So 116 plus 58, if you add them up, you'll get 174. So keep in mind this is in meters. And then what's the total time? Well, we know it took 14 seconds this way and then 4.8 seconds back. So the total time is just going to be them added up. So 14 plus 4.8 is equal to 18.8 seconds. And so speed is going to be equal to 174 divided by 18.8, which should give you 9.255 and so on. I'm going to round to the tenths place, make it a 3, right, because this is a 5. So 9.3, and then make sure your units are correct. We have meters on top, seconds on the bottom, so it's going to be meters per second. So the speed is going to be 9.3 meters per second. So let's do velocity now. So velocity is going to be change in position over change in time. So let's, say, let's assume that our first position is 0. And then what's our final position going to be? So you generally write it as x sub 2 minus x sub 1 over t sub 2 minus t sub 1. So x sub 2 is your final position. x sub 1 is your initial position. So our final position is going to be 58 meters away. And you know that because we go 116 this way and 58 back. So this distance right here is 58. So its final position is going to be 58 meters away. So we do 58 minus its initial. And so generally your initial you can just call 0 if you're doing uh, one dimensional. So we're going to call this 0. So because it's 58 meters away from 0. Uh, so it's going to be 58 on top. And then on the bottom we have t sub 2 minus t sub 1. So uh, t sub 2 is going to be your uh, final time. And so the final time is going to just be the same for this because uh, t sub 1 is just going to be 0 because we start at 0 seconds. And then t sub 2 is just the amount of time that passed during that. And so it's 14 plus uh, 4.8. So it's just going to be 18.8 minus 0. And so you have 58 divided by 18.8. Uh, and keep in mind, this is in meters per second. It's the same uh, units. So 58 meters over 18.8 meters or seconds is going to give you 3.085 and so on. Uh, I'm going to round to the tenths place once again. So this is going to become a 1. So 3.1 meters per second, right? Make sure the units are correct. And so this is going to be your answer to A. And this is going to be your answer to B. And that's how you solve this problem.